Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and thanks for coming to see me again. Today I'm going to talk about Charles Barkley on Get Up This Morning and one of the topics he was talking about in uh, his in his little interview on, on Get Up This Morning where he talked about players forcing their way out and a little bit about him talking about Embiid and Simmons on the Philadelphia 76ers. And I'm going to really dig into the trade thing like I talked about uh, the Supermax earlier last week. And uh, first off, I'm going to talk about Charles Barkley's kind of acting up today. He was tripping today. He was talking, saying Embiid needs to lose weight and Ben Simmons needs to work on his game. And like he's just acting a fool on there. And I think he's tripping a bit because... Joel and B, they say he's a lot heavier, but he's a uh, different. He's different. He's built a bit different. He got. He has to. He and B. It's not really a shape thing for him. I think that he just needs to get. Like he needs to get to the point where he can stay on the court healthy every season he has a some uh, some type of injury or he'll get sick in the middle of the playoffs and have to almost miss a game and that's not really something you want from your star player in the conference semifinals like they were literally they still they were a shot away from winning that series pretty much and if he comes, if he's playing in that game, if he's 100% that entire series, the 100% the entire playoffs, they might even sneak one out and beat Toronto. And we're looking at a Philadelphia 76ers championship or a Milwaukee Bucks championship. And we got Kevin Durant still in the cards for next season. And Clay Thompson still in the cards for next season because maybe Kevin Durant doesn't come back and get hurt in the finals. Or maybe uh, Clay Thompson doesn't tear his ACL and they just lose. Or the Warriors won the championship. Something like that. But we're going to get off that. We got um, the trade. That, but we're going to get on that trade part now. The NBA superstars lately. I'd say since Jimmy Butler having uh he kind of got it from Kawhi and um I'd say Kyrie kind of Kawhi and Kyrie kind of started it and Anthony Davis because it kind of started this little energy now where players are forcing their way off teams by just acting a complete fool just doing anything to make the upper the upper echelon guys, the higher paid folks up in the top offices on the team, want to get them out of there, get them off the team as soon as possible. Like Jimmy Butler beating all the um, beating everyone in the practices. Like Jimmy Butler playing with third stringers, beating the starters, and talking all the biggest garbage to Cat. And then you got Kawhi Leonard refusing to play, saying, oh, I'm injured. You guys aren't giving me the adequate help I need. And just being all right. And Kawhi, his reputation has become like he's like a vindictive man now. And that's been a crazy sight. And not only that, um, like we had uh, Kyrie saying, oh, I'm going to get a knee surgery and sit out the entire season if the Cavs don't trade me. And things like that. It's a it's a different day and age in the NBA, and Charles Barkley saying that it's looking like we're going towards a lockout in the f future, which wouldn't be it, which is very which was really not ideal. We really don't want a lockout. We'd be stuck without basketball 
for however many and end up with another 50 game season or a 66 game season like in 2012 don't get basketball till 2012 or we'll have a all the NBA players going to these rec league gyms and hooping out balling out like Kobe when he played against James Harden at that one uh, rec league game and when they had the big uh, event in like Texas or something with Durant, LeBron, and all the NBA stars came down to that gym and were just playing. Kevin Durant trying to drop 50, Kevin Durant and the Rucker dropping 50, like stuff like that. Those were, that was a pretty interesting time in basketball, but it's like you don't get to see these guys all the time on TV. And in this social media period, a lockout would be just the worst. <laughs> that would be the worst. But I'm going to get off that now. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, damn it. All right. Peace.